What's up, guys? I got two sharp college football bets for you guys to lock in for the later games tonight. Two bets, both sharp, both mathematically profitable NCAAF bets for you guys to lock in. Don't wait. Um, both of them, of course, found using Odds Jam. It's pretty cool. You can just filter specifically for the league you are looking for. You can sort the date so I have the latest up top. So I know, all right, I want to bet some later games. Give this video some time for people to watch it. Lock in these bets. And here we have it. So the first one, Texas A&M in the night game. Of course, the awesome game between Texas A&M and Miami, Florida. I am locking in Texas first quarter spread minus a half. I know they had a gross lost last week still a good team they were still highly ranked for a reason i think they'll be able to bounce back just need them to have a lead at the end of the first quarter lock that one in game is being played at 9 p.m eastern 7 p.m mountain time for me the next one what i'm looking at is actually the over in the first half of the ohio state versus toledo game over 34 and a half going to lock this one in on um um, FanDuel at minus 106 odds bet has been locked in. Ohio State could hit this bet, hit this total by themselves in the first half with how insane their offense is. So let's chat about it. Let's talk about the math, the value, why I liked both of these bets. So of course, because they are on Odds Jam on the positive expected value page, I know that they are mathematically profitable with some sort of edge. That's exactly how Odds Jam works. It pulls lines, just thousands of data points, constantly monitoring all the different lines on all the different markets, on all the different sports books, and develop this formula thanks to just a bunch of back testing, thousands and thousands of bets, thousands and thousands of games being back tested, developed this no big odds formula, which identifies the sharpest sports books in terms of pricing odds, and then uh, takes a weighted average based on how sharp they are based on the specific market. So there are certain books that are better than others at pricing markets, those books are going to be weighted heavier in the Novig odds, which in this first one, the Texas A&M first half spread was priced at plus 105, plus 106 if you want to round up. And we locked it in on Caesars at plus 110, half unit play here, plus 110 on Caesars. So all in all equates to about a roughly 2% profit margin. Um, this profit margin is very important. So I do want to just stick on this for a little bit. I think I get a lot of questions understandable good questions i appreciate people asking about how can there be a profit margin for a game that hasn't played yet you're either going to win your bet and you're going to win uh, you're going to get all your profit or you're going to lose your bet and you're going to lose all of your risk that's a fair point it's technically it's your theoretical profit margin a formula being calculated based on the difference of the no big line and the line that you bet it at so yes for this individual bet I will win my profit, I will lose my risk, depending on how the outcome of the bet goes. But over time, you will notice that your expected profit, your uh, theoretical profit margin pulled from this formula will start to equal your actual profit. You just need to give that some time, 250, 500, 1,000 bets even, to let those things add up. But you will notice that, like I said, that profit margin that you calculate pre-bet will start to equal your actual profit. That's how positive expected value betting works. So it's not... A get rich quick scheme it's not you know you're not going to make a million dollars overnight but but by the end of this night i will have this two percent profit margin realized and this is only one bet so i mean for nfl sunday for college football saturday think about how many bets you have pending 25 50 multiply that by the percent and you start to see how much money you can make on one given night of sports betting and this is again only one night so during basketball season, college and NBA, when hockey starts, when the baseball season was going on, there are dozens in, in higher amount, dozens and more amount of bets that you can place on a given day. So, you know, the stock market traders make like 8% return a year. If we add up all these college football bets for today, we can make between 5 and 8% just right now from locking these bets in right now so don't get discouraged with these lower profit margin bets they're still valuable they should still be selected just understand that sports betting is about creating profit in the long run right you want your profit to go up like that and you're going to have down days of course that's the variance of sports betting but in the long run if you're a positive expected value betting give it 250 500 sample size using odds jam using the positive ev page you will be profitable. But that doesn't mean every single bet on here you should just blindly select. 
um, there are a couple different things that should be looked into. Number one is, and this is the most important one, is just checking if we're betting on an outlier when you compare to all the other sports books. So this play was plus 110 on Texas A&M. If you click into a play, it pulls up lines for every other book. And what we can see here, every book priced this for minus money. The odds jam line, and this is pulled from Pinnacle Sportsbook, which is the sharpest sportsbook in the world, at minus 104, DraftKings at minus 105, and then Betfred and BetMGM at minus 110. No other book even has this at plus 100. So this plus 110, if you're just looking at it, clear outlier when you compare it across all the sports books, which shows that Caesar is a true outlier here. And these are the betting opportunities that you want to bet on. So the next one, same logic here. It's positive EV, Ohio State versus Toledo. The odds jam line prices it at minus um, 106.28. We locked it in at minus 106 on FanDuel. Another positive expected value bet. Lock this one in on uh, FanDuel at minus 106. Ohio State versus Toledo. First half over 34 and a half. Like I said, Ohio State could hit this total by themselves with the electric offense that they have. So those are going to be my two bets. Ohio State versus Toledo. First half over. 34 and a half, and then Texas A&M first quarter spread minus a half, basically saying, will they be leading at the end of the half? And that's it. So appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to lock these in and have a good one.